I own a company called Dugali Overfeld. We're a luxury home builder specializing in the ultra luxury residential market across California from San Diego up to the Bay Area. I didn't really realize how difficult the job of being a client is in the sense the amount of time that it takes. So wearing both hats was extremely time consuming. I had to be there as the builder and make sure everything gets done right. And I had to be there as a homeowner selecting materials and making sure that I approve everything that happens. When you drive up to it, it's pretty understated. There's, on purpose, we've designed very few windows to face the street. And those that face the street are not very important rooms. And when you walk into the house and you go to the backyard, you realize it just is an explosive view with tremendous floor to ceiling windows. The whole back of it is all exposed glass. So it's very private. And from the street, you really don't understand the magnitude of the house that's behind the gates. Art is a big deal for us. So we wanted to make sure to have uh, spaces to display art prominently. Over the years, I've amassed a nice collection of art. The entrance of the house was specifically designed to look like an art gallery on purpose because of that. I think the house is actually priceless. In real estate, you have certain parameters of price per square foot, but when you look at this building, this building was designed to be a timeless piece of architecture. It's not a square architectural box. It's designed so that in 50 years or 100 years, it still looks as pristine as it did the day it was built. It's a project that was built with absolutely no expense spared. The materials used are materials that you don't find anywhere. And it has features that you just don't find in the hills, like the garden. You know, the amount of grass that we have. There isn't a single property anywhere in this area that has that kind of a backyard. It's a very special house, and this house is pretty perfect.